welcome to my channel, Brandy Plans. Today we're gonna to be doing the pre-plan in my Happy Planner Custom Planner for November 23rd to the 29th, which is American Thanksgiving, um, but not in Canada. I'm from Canada. Welcome to my channel. Um, but I am gonna use this um, kit from um, Avalon and Ninth, and it's called Gather Around. So I think it's kind of like a Thanksgiving kit, but it doesn't like scream Thanksgiving. It's more of like a country farmhouse fall type kit. So this is going to be my last fall kit before I move into my Christmas kits. And I'm a little sad. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little sad. Um, I love fall kits. Don't get me wrong. I love Christmas kits too. I love kits. Let's just, I love all kits. I just love them. going to wait out my date dots like always. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of sad because the fall kits this year were so pretty and I had already bought so many from before, like last year. I find that I am running into that problem where I buy, <laughs> buy so many kits that I have trouble picking the ones that I want to use. Um, and then I end up with like two or three years of kits because I only have three planners which is way more than the average human being. But you know, can you never, I, you can never have too many planners in my personal opinion. Okay, so I'm just gonna put glitter headers at the top. Um, and then I'm gonna put my date dots down, which is kind of what I normally do. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put my full boxes and then I'm gonna sporadically put the boxes down like I do because this is the planner that I journal in. So I usually just write what happened in the day, highlights, how I felt. It's like basically a journal for me. And it's just a decorative journal and it's a way that I can use more sticker kits because I love sticker kits. And you're gonna laugh at me because I still am not sure, what am I doing there? Trying to lay that down straight, but it's not working out. I'm still not sure how many planners I'm going to use for 2021. Because I have too many, basically. Um, and I want to use them all. But I really don't need to plan that much. Like, I don't have a whole swack happening in my life that I need. Where are my date cover? Oh, they're on the same page as my glitter header. She gives you two sets, which is really awesome. So I can actually save the next set for another day, which is pretty fabulous. Except for these are not square, so I have to try to put them. <laughs> You'd think it would be easier for me to do because they're not square, so it really doesn't matter how I lay it down. But for some reason, I can't manage that either. Maybe just do that Tuesday. Um, ooh. So yeah, so that's my plan is to start my winter kits next week. I've already got them lined up, but the problem is, is that everybody has all their winter kits out and I want them all. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I've already pre-planned all my kits. I have more than enough but I feel that I need more. Does anybody else have that problem? I have that problem in spades. Now, I could do three planners next year. So my journal planner, my regular planner, my B6 planner, like always, because I like those planners and I use them. I actually use them. Um, what would my fourth planner be for? I also have, <laughs> okay, it actually would be like my 600th planner. Oh my gosh, a lot of planners. Can you have too many planners? I don't know. No, <gasps> it's connected. It's connected. Okay, that's exciting. Is this for an Erin Condren though? Because it's going to go over. It went over, but I just went over the side. That's all right. 
Okay, is this one connected? No, that one's not connected. It does make a seam though. So let's put the second seam here, even though it's not connected. I didn't realize that she does half boxes that are connected. I haven't seen one before. I did start subscribing to Avalon and Knight's um, monthly mystery kit as well to try it. Um, I've really liked the two that I've gotten so far. I think they're super pretty. I'm actually going to put this because I think it kind of matches the scene a little. Like that. I think that's adorable. Okay, let's put home sweet home here. And then we're going to put the table. I love these full boxes. I think they're stunning. Okay, let's put the bottom washi down next. Where's my bottom washi? You know, there's only so many sticker peepers and I still constantly lose them. I have no idea how that happens, but it does every single time. I'm wondering because this is white, if I need to wipe this. No, you can't see it. Sometimes I get worried whether I need to white it out or not. The writing underneath, this does not. I need to cut that. Okay. Never perfect. If you watch this channel, you know that I am never perfect with anything. But that's okay. You're allowed to not be perfect. Um, so I have, okay, let's list my planners. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. And how many planners I have. But I love them. I can't give them up. Anybody else feel that way? I just love them. I can't give them up. And I love putting stickers in them. I can't give that up either. Sorry, I just can't. So planner one, happy planner, at home planner. So that has all of our schedules and what we have going on in it. It is kind of like my, my weekly moment of truth, decorative. I put stickers in that. B6 planner um, is my social media planner. I, I don't have a lot going on on social media, but it gives me an excuse for having another planner. So I decorate that with all of my leftovers. So I always use leftover kits in that planner with extra full boxes that I find here and there and whatever. Um, happy planner classic or custom planner. This one that I'm currently in is my journaling planner. I decorate it with stickers. Um, makes me happy. Um, I do that at night. Planners you don't see me use on this channel is I use a goal planner, which I have hauled my new power sheets. Um, there's um, a video for it in my haul video playlist if you're looking for that. Um, and it's my goal planner. Um, and I love it. I would never change that ever. So that's my other planner. Um, let's put... this one down, this glitter header. Um, yeah, so I would say, and then the other one you don't see is my daily planner. Um, I currently use the five second journal um, for my daily planning. And basically what I find that my daily planning is, is that it's kind of like my to-do list for the day 
and a way to remind myself what appointments I have that day. Like, so I'll look at my happy planner to see what appointments I have and I'll write it down again because I need the memory because I, my memory is terrible. Um, and then, oh my gosh, this is really, really cute. Okay. I want to use these. Do I want to do this? I want to do the sidebar next, actually. So let's just move this piece here. I always have to white out the one squared box, which is so funny because in my other planner, I don't have to white it out at all. Funny how that works, hey? Okay, so I think I'm gonna put the farmhouse at the top. I'm gonna regret that decision immediately. Perfect, okay, farmhouse at the top. And then let's use this light color divider and then we need dinners um, cleaning time being an adult this week this week um and then i always i like my daily planner to have a gratitude section uh, what I'm going to do, like, it's more of a, a morning, part of my morning routine to remind me what's important, what I need to do, that kind of stuff. So I like my daily planner to have prompts, like to have writing prompts. I can't do a plain daily planner because the whole reason I have it is to remind myself <laughs> what I need to do for the day and what I'm grateful for, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I, I want a planner that has prompts where a lot of people prefer their daily planner to just have your time frame and then that's it, free space to do whatever. That's not me, not even remotely close. Okay, I'm gonna put, I feel like I wanna put this at the bottom and then I'll put the full box over top of it That is almost as if I planned that. I did not plan that. That just happened magically all on its own. Yeah, I'm a super happy. Okay, let's bring in my other page. Make sure you're kind of in frame. Okay, she gives us so many boxes. So I definitely wanna use all the patterned half boxes. I like using the post-it notes. And I also wanna use these boxes. That's a lot. So part of me kind of wants to save these and just use these. But I love these because I love that she still A, provides them because most shops don't provide full checklists and I love them. So if you're ever getting rid of your full box checklist, you can send them my direction because I love them. All right, let's do... Do I want to see if I add full boxes, I don't have lots of room for all these other little boxes. Okay, I'm saving the full boxes. Decision made. So in here, I basically, for no rhyme or reason, add a bunch of stuff that I, oh my gosh. <gasps> Okay, whoops, that was just obviously miscut. I don't know how that even happened. Okay, and then let's put, so this is gonna be, I guess, kind of more white space-y than normal because normally 
I do not do any white space at all. Oh, let's actually do this in my planner. Normally, there is never hardly any white space. I love to have stickers cover the top all the way to the bottom. That is just my personal preference. I like stickers everywhere. <laughs> so, um, so in regards to my new daily planner, um, after I'm done my 52 week journal planner, which I still have quite a few days in, so it will definitely get me to the end of the year, I have purchased a passion planner, a daily passion planner. I've never used a passion planner before. I was looking at different options for a daily planner, not because I don't love my um, 52 or my uh, five second journal. Um, I just kind of wanted to mix it up and do something a little different. So that's why I decided to get the passion planner. Because of course I love I don't know if you guys are like this, but I love looking at new planners and I love seeing what's out there. And so I was really, I was really interested to see all the different other dailies. And I really love, um, Amanda, is it Amanda plans? Oh, I wish I could remember here. I'm going to see if I can look it up here for you guys. Amanda plans. Oh, it could be Amanda Plans. How do I not know this channel's name? Anyway, she does the most amazing planner reviews. I just love her. Like, if you are looking for a new planner, you need to check out her, her, sh like, show. Okay, I want to use, she also provides these, like, awesome, cute little checklists. So, I might put those in next, too. I still have tons of boxes, obviously, but because I actually feel, oh, I don't want to put that there. Let's put, let's put this one here. Um, but she reviews all different types of planners like year round. And I really enjoy watching her reviews. And so I watched a bunch of them about her daily planners and what she's been using for a daily planner. And I just really thought that the passion planner, I loved all the prompts in it. And I just thought it would really go well with how I do my daily planner in the morning because I do all my um, kind of like gratitude and that kind of stuff in with my morning planning. So I really wanted a different planner for that. I'm just thinking what I want. I want some more color. Let's pull in this box. I love that she has boxes with lines on them. They make it e easier to write, like to write what you need to write. Oh, I'm actually gonna use this down here. And then where is my divider? And then I'm going to use these little check boxes. Super cute. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Second page. Let's pull it in. Blue divider. So, yeah, so I decided the Passion Planner, it arrived the other day. I'm gonna be putting up a haul video in the next week or two and I'll go through it in that video for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Um, I only got the plain black one because again, I didn't wanna spend too much money because I wasn't sure if it was going to be a planner I really wanted. Do you know if that makes any sense? Like, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in it or I won't stay in it. 
I want to move this. Half box. Did you guys see how well that just came off? <laughs> Sticker love when you know something has just come off that you didn't think would come off. And it just did. Thank you, Sticker Genies, for making that possible. <laughs> See, here's another one that just cut. That's so odd. That is so odd, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. All right, let's put this at the top. And then we'll do this one. So I technically have five, five planners. Okay, so people in the planning community, that's not that much. It's just not, it's not that much. I don't wanna put that next to that. It's not that much. There are definitely people other than me that have way more planners. I am not the only human being with that many planners. I'm not, I know I'm not. So should I put, should I put a seventh planner in my lineup? Oh, it's a hard question, guys. It's a hard question. Part of me thinks yes. And part of me thinks you're crazy. <laughs> if you think you need a seventh planner. And I know that there are tons of people out there that are thinking you're crazy if you think that you need a seventh planner. But there are those of you who are on my side who are like, of course you need a seventh planner. You should do, which I am seriously debating about, you should do a 52 weeks of something. So if you guys have watched Avalon and Ninth at all, which you should because her channel is quite amazing, um, she has done 52 weeks of Halloween. And she, I think she hashtagged it 52 weeks on Instagram. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed watching it. It is amazing. I love watching all the spreads of the Halloween spreads. I love Halloween and all the Hall Yeah, I love it. I just don't know what I would write in it. Like, I don't know what I would use it for, um, which is the only thing that is stopping me at the current moment because I, I, I have no idea what I would use that planner for. I don't know if, yeah, I don't, I have no idea what I would use it for. If you guys can think of something I'm missing that I could use that planner for, please write it in the comments below. I just can't think, I could, um, see, I could do a kid's memory keeping planner, but that's kind of what my journal is. Like there's not, guys, there's not a lot happening around here. Like. We are not that exciting. <laughs> so I don't have like a hundred plans all the time. Like it is not that exciting around here. I haven't used this polka dot washi yet. So I'm like, what would I possibly write in three planners? That's kind of my problem is that I have no idea what I would say in them. But part of me wants to have an excuse just to put stickers down. <laughs> down. 
It's not a good reason to get a planner, guys, just to put stickers down. Or is it? Maybe. I need someone to enable me. Anybody? I need enabling. I want to use all these blue stickers because they're kind of tinier. Oh, I don't want to put that one there. Let's put this. And then we'll put this. Oh, let's put polka dots. That. Okay. I absolutely love it. Now here's my debate. Do I want to put overlays on it? And part of me is like, no way. It is so simple and beautiful just the way it is. And then part of me is like, it needs slight leaf bling. Okay, I'm gonna put the glitter headers above the dates. That I'm definitely going to do. If I can get them off, for some reason I'm having trouble. And then part of me wonders if I should just leave the full boxes alone and glitter the bottom washi and the headers. Cause I think the glitter headers would look really cool with a dark leaf foil. Should we pull out the foil and just see? Guys, should we just see? Let's pull out the foil and just have a little look. Where's my dark leaf foil? So I have, oh, I love this color. I also have like the burnt orange, but I think it's too, too burnt orange. And I kind of, I have dark. Where's my other one? I have dark. Is this my leaf one? I think there's that leaf. This is leaf. So I have, I think the dark one. It's like a dark red color. It's really pretty. This is what happens when you wear fake nails. You can never actually open anything. Okay. Should we just do a trial? Why not? Oh, it needs it. It just needs it. Yep. Sorry. It just needs it in its life. Right? Closer look, guys. Closer look. Yeah. It needs it in its life. Okay. Sold dark leaf foil over headers for sure and then we will think about the full boxes <laughs> and the bottom washi oh yeah that is just beautiful I'm absolutely loving that. Okay, I'm not sad at all about my choice. So, yeah, I have 2021 planner problems, which if that's the worst of my issues, I'm pretty, pretty set for the year, basically. Is whether or not I need seven planners 
or six. Oh, it's so hard to make executive decisions when you love them and you have no need for them. <laughs> Absolutely no need. They don't serve any purpose whatsoever, <laughs> but I feel that I need them regardless. Grr. Did I do, oh, I did do that side. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna put full boxes on. And I think I'm gonna leave the sidebar stuff. So I think that that is it. It's just a little bit of something. I'm just gonna do that. So um, we have two weekend banners. It says weekend is when life begins. That is not for me at all because I work on the weekends. So yeah, that's not the case. Weekend adventures is very cute. So I think I'm gonna use it. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And then I'm just gonna kinda, I want to put pumpkin and the haze just there. And then I'm just gonna put these kinda in boxes that maybe could use a little something to them. Oop. That one's almost too big. Let's put it there. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I just sticker surgery that. I just did that. I'm really proud of myself right now. <laughs> Uh, that normally does not work out in my favor ever, ever. <laughs> and that just worked out. Miracle. I don't want to put that there. I do want to put it right there. Sometimes it's hard to think where you want to put. I'm going to put that arrow right in the middle. There. Deco's all done. And then we have a Coffee Monday, which I am going to use. Put that there. Trash Day is on Tuesday. I'm gonna put the coffee cup by the coffee Monday. I have to get it off. Um, I'm gonna put this planner on Wednesday. Where do I want to put it? I'm just going to put it there. There was no good rhyme or reason to that. Grocery shopping on Tuesday. I did trash day. Oh, there's two trash days. That's kind of cool. And I'm going to put... Where do I want to put this? That's kind of cute. Little squiggle. Mm. Is 
Second little squiggle, super cute. Dog, cat, I don't have a dog, I don't have a cat. Okay, so I have date covers. I still have my checklist. I still have my today to do's, watch me and feed me. I have some headers still. I still have some functional boxes, but not many. So I used the majority of them. I'm really proud of this. I think it turned out really good. I hope you guys liked it too. Um, I'm gonna give you just a quick little close up to see how it turned out. Super cute. I love it. I think it turned out really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please click like and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.